Gloomhaven is a co-op tactical RPG dungeon crawl based on a board game. A very, very popular board game. One of the most popular out there and very complex. Heavy box as heavy. well. <laughs> Talking about heavy boxes. The story of this game is actually uh, hard to summarize because each character, and there are 17 main characters, each one has its own personal quest that they are trying to complete. And it comes to conclusion because when they complete the quest, you have to retire that character and take another character that you have unlocked to continue the story. But the very simple story is you are a group of mercenaries trying to make money by killing monsters and bandits to survive. And in the very beginning, you're going to start with, as usually in the RPG, choosing your characters. You can choose from six and those 11 you're going to unlock while you travel the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. While traveling through the map, you get random encounters where some small side story choices can be made with some buffs or debuffs at the end to upcoming battles. Once you are in the battle in the dungeon, it is turn-based and organized by a series of cards. Each character has a separate deck of cards and you're given a number of them at the beginning of the battle. The tricky thing is at the beginning of each turn you have to choose two and you will be able to use the top section of one card and the bottom section of another card. So that can switch around, but you have to think carefully about which one you're going to use to attack, which one you're going to move. And a lot of these effects uh, combine or synergize with attacks from your other players. So you have to think very strategically to maximize your effects. It wouldn't be a good dungeon crawler without the loot, so you can get a lot of loot, money, and you can spend it on a pretty good uh, inventory of mm. weapons like armors, helmets, boots, and other accessories. So that is the basic mechanics of this game. Uh, it is a lot of crawling through dungeons, but there is 160 different missions that you can go through. And because you're con constantly changing characters as you go through it, it does stay fresh and there is a lot of game to this game. So that brings us to should, should you, you play, play it? it? But first you should know that this game is absolutely free from the Epic Game Store the week starting September 22nd, 2022. So you can claim it, keep it in your library, install it whenever you want. And that's what we do on this channel. We play and review every free game from the Epic Game Store so you don't have to be bored or waste your time on bad games ever again. Talking about the board, we haven't played the board game. Uh, this game is complex. It is so complex that if you go to tutorial, there's an 11 section of tutorial. So it's mm -hmm. going to take a lot of your time even before you can start really playing the adventure. And there's so much content, but you need to dedicate a lot of time mm -hmm. to it. So mm -hmm. it, this game is not going to be for everyone because of that. Uh, it will be for people who really like uh, turn-based strategies, who would definitely for those who love the board game mm -hmm. of the same title. Mm -hmm. Probably not for anyone else. So but you really like turn-based? I like turn-based strategies and RPGs, and I think this is a good one. This might be the best board game adaptation I have played so far. Mm -hmm. I haven't played the board game, but I like the digital version. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's yes for me but only from those reasons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I have to agree that uh, on this channel we have reviewed a lot of digital yeah. board games and I love board games, but I have said no to all digital board games mm -hmm. because it just seems kind of flat somehow and not in a good way like a board game, like flat that it's missing something, it's missing that social element. What's really cool about this is how each person can have a different character. You can play on one computer True. And whenever it's someone that is one character's turn, you just give the mouse and the keyboard to the next person. They make all the decisions. So it is a couch cop game. Yeah, it can be for, for not officially. Yep. Yeah. Um, and I mean that is technically possible with other digital board games, but because you're playing a particular character each time, it felt very personal and like you're really collaborating as a group. It also works equally well to play single player. You're just controlling all four characters one at a time. That brought a lot of like possibilities to it and a feeling of collaboration that often is what digital board games lose. The 
The gameplay mechanics is complex, requires a lot of thought and strategy, and the world is really interesting. What this adds to the board game is the graphics and the environment, mm -hmm. because the board game does have a lot of figurines and, and pieces and cards and things. Uh, it's pretty from what I have seen, but this really puts you right into that 3D environment. You can move the map around, you can see all these details and feel like you're living these adventures. So I guess from saying all that, it won't be a surprise that I'm going to say, yes, you should try it. If you are a fan of board games or you want to have a fun couch co-op adventure with some friends, this is definitely worth worth checking out, especially now that it's free. If you're missing more of these games, there was a similar game that was free from Epic also. That was For the King. Mm -hmm. Check out that review if Absolutely. you're interested yep. and hope to see you in one of our other reviews or other videos. See you then. See you. Bye. Bye.